Okay, everyone, J.I. Joy here. We are going to dye J.I. Rich's hair today because um, he wants to get rid of some of this gray. Now, the thing with dyeing your hair is you always got a way, um, you, when you dye your hair, you're going to lose hair. That's the unfortunate thing about dyeing hair. So you weigh, do I want color or do I want the thickness? So that's always what we go back and forth with, and I do the same thing. And so every time we dye our hair, you lose a little bit, but then you get cool color. So um, that's the thing to consider. That's why I choose to do um, the Garnier Olea. It has um, no ammonia, and it's 60% oil, so it you lose less hair when you do one of these ones because it's less harsh. Before, in the past, we did a really harsh, um, like, platinum blonde on Jai Rich, and he lost a lot of hair. We're not doing that this time, so this time, hopefully, it'll be um, not as harsh on his hair. So if you're worried, I know a lot of people, when they go blonde, they worry about that. Maybe for you girls that have dyed your hair before, make sure guys too. Um, okay, so I like this one. I got this actually just from Amazon, but you can get it any of your local grocery stores. Okay, so I'm going to put first put it together. So they always put a conditioner in here. You can just take oh, that out. show that to, to this camera here. Yeah, that wouldn't be good because I can kind of zoom in on yeah, it. Yeah, I always just take that out. Sure that is light. for later in the shower. So that's not part of your hair dye process. It's not until you get in the shower. So you can put that aside so you don't get confused. I always take that out right away. Um, I actually don't even really like that conditioner. We probably won't use that because we use better conditioner than the one they provide. They always provide some gloves. So um, I made Jedi Rich get in clothes that are crappy. So clothes that you um, have your old box. That, like the oldest things you old can find that you will ruin most likely because you're going to get hair dye on them. So um, I always take a glance at how long I kind of want to do it for. We're going to probably do it for about 25 to 30 minutes, which I average here. Yeah, about 25 minutes, looks like. Okay, so I always kind of take a look at the clock now, even though you don't really start that till the end, but when you're going to start putting the hair, you want to be aware how long some of it has had the hair dye. So it's now 218. Okay, so they always provide some gloves in these um, things. So I usually put on one first because it's hard to work with two. Um, inside here they have one thing that's called colorant. This is the number two, and the other one is the number one. But make sure you're holding it in the light. Just yeah. pull it back, pull it back a little bit. Yeah. About right, about right there. And the number one. And this is all that comes in the box and then the conditioner. And all you do is you put number two into number one. Perfect. So I'll show you guys how you do that. So these little tops pop off. You twist them off. And then you'll, sometimes it'll explode a little because it's got some pressure in there. I put all the trash back into the box down here. Keeps it clean. Um, so now you got to take the lid off of the number one jar here. And we're going to, um, you take the lid off the number two and you pop up. They have a little pop thing so you can pop it. And all you're going to do is you're going to squeeze number two into number one. So this is how you prepare your um, hair dye. Can you take my glasses off? Uh, not until I start, but yeah, once I start, probably because you don't want to get hair dye on your glasses. Okay. Anything on you could get hair dye on it. Actually, if you want to, <laughs> if you want to go grab just some wipes from the bathroom, that would be really helpful to have because if you get wipes handy because hair dye will get on things, and you want to wipe it off if you can right away, then it won't stay. But once it stays for any amount of time, it can really stain things. Especially like even on your face and stuff. Give it a stain your face a bit. So I just squeeze all of number two into number one. How like a tube of toothpaste. Where you want to? Yeah, just put me out on the chair. Are you ready to go right now? Okay. Okay. Can I shave real quick or is it where you ready to go? Uh I'm pretty ready to go. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how long you have. But I can probably pause if you want. No, you don't need to. I was questioning whether I needed a shaver. Yeah, I think you're fine, because you're getting a makeover here. I know, but I like to look good in the... You know, when, I, when I'm when i unshaven, and my hair is all rented out, <laughs> I mean, I'm like one step away from like, looking like I could be in an instant. So then put your finger on top of the top of the thing. That's very important. You already removed the cap thing to leave, or leave some of the pressure, but you kind of put your finger on top, and then you shake it vigorously for a while to get the two things to be as one. 
So you say, how long do you shake it? Well, just make sure you can see that they kind of became one because you had put two things together. But cover the top with your finger and the glove so you don't spray hair dye everywhere. But they say to remove the top because I guess just because it's too much pressure or something. We just give it a bunch of shakes because you want to make sure because it's the developer, I think, and the color you were uh, putting together. But you want them to all be mixed perfectly. Okay, now let's take a look at the time again. Now we're at 221. So I just keep an eye on things so I kind of am aware how long the whole process. Okay. So now we're ready to start putting in just here. Some real beat up, ready stuff. Okay, now it's time to take off your glasses because we don't want to get hair dye on his glasses. So you want to start from the root to the ends. Okay, now we're looking at the time. We're starting at 2.21, almost 2.22 now. I'm going to start at the roots here, and I'm just going to squeeze some of the hair dye, and I'm just going to spread it into the hair. All I'm going to do is just try to cover all of his hair with hair dye. Um, we want to try to get every little bit. We don't want him to be, you know, cheetah stripes spotted around here, so we want to get all of his hair. But he's got a lot of hair, so I just start working. I'm going to come back and get, you know, these spots that maybe I didn't get, but I just want to start because, you know, you don't want to run out of the hair dye. So I always try to first get it going on the top, you know, like, and then come back and get all the spots where I miss, but I don't want to be left with, like, no hair dye at the bottom of his head, you know, so I kind of just start getting some of the spots, and I'll come back and make sure to get all the spots that we didn't get. But you only have so much hair dye, and if you spend too much time at the top, you'll find you run out of hair dye. I've done that before, and then you're like, oh, no, I have none left to get the bottom of the hair. So like I said, I just start trying to cover all the hair at first, and then we'll come back and make sure that we got every spot. And this is a good way to save money, too, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, so when you go to the salon, it's very expensive to get your hair dyed. Depending on uh, some salons, it can be, you know, a couple hundred dollars, some a little cheaper. But um, I, always when I went to the salon, if I got my hair dyed, I was dyed and cut, I'd, I'd never leave with less than, like, $200 when I used to go. Um... And so this only cost, this hair dye, I think, was like $8 or something on Amazon. Oh, okay. Did it go up uh, since the... Um... Um, I think I ordered this a little bit ago, so it had not yet, but I don't know. Mm. I've actually had this for a couple months now. <clears throat> so it might be $10 now. <laughs> might be a little more now. Might be a little more now. The COVID's kind of made everything go up. Yeah, and this is another reason yeah, to stay at home, you know. Yeah. Um, another thing you can do at home. So we don't know how this color is going to take which is his hair because he's got very dark hair. Um, so we're hoping it uh, gives it a, a, a lighter blonde. Um, it could turn orange. Yeah, that, that tends to happen sometimes when you have darker yeah, hair. Like brown. It yeah, because that's why people go to platinum. But the problem with platinum is your hair just falls out like crazy. It requires ammonia. Which is very toxic. Yeah, and this is not as toxic. So, but it then that you know, I need what? to. I know. I if you could it. like turn Hold like on, this. Let me, let me just check that camera. Make sure that oh, camera. Okay. Fine. Oh. Okay. And you turn like your head to the side. Like. Which way? Like to, like this. Like, a little more. If you could like go like this. And, yeah. Yeah. He's got a lot of hair. Yeah, we're really thick in the back door. So we got to make sure we get the <coughs> hair first, like I said, then we'll come back and touch up all these spots. But we want to try to make sure we get the color at least to the bottom here before we use it all at the top. So I just go all the way around at the bottom first, getting all the roots. The roots are your darkest color, because that's where your hair grows from, the roots. So that's where you're going to have, when you have dark hair, your roots are going to come out dark. 
and you're gonna have lighter if you've ever dyed your hair. That's where he we've dyed his. That's where he has the light at the end. That was the old hair dye. So we just want to make sure we're getting all of his hair, and that's the big issue when you dye your own hair or you dye your friend's hair, partner's hair, is getting all of the hair. That's what people generally spend the big money for because they they spend a lot more time. They do it strand by strand. I could do that, but we don't, you know, that's not. Well, funny, I don't think Jay Rich would sit through that. <laughs> Why do you say that? <laughs> he... <laughs> we don't go to the salon. He, he hates it. He does not like sitting still. <laughs> Why do you think that is? <laughs> I don't know. You, you're, you're just like moving around. Yeah. You don't even sleep very long. Jerry Rich is just someone who's always on the go. Moving around. Moving around. Yeah. So we're looking to make sure we're covering all of the hair now. So now we have not run out of dye, so now we're gonna come and we're gonna try to get every spot. Because if you miss spots, that's where you get the spotted hair. As you're dying, you can start to see it lightening in spots. And then you know it's working. As we can see, it's starting to get a little bit of lightning here. Let's make sure we get these side spots here. You definitely want to get your sideburns on those to be blonde. Very relaxing having someone do this to your head. Yeah, it feels good. Mm -hmm. Probably, um, you know, beauticians would freak out by the way I'm doing this. Because they would say, you know, to do, pull it apart piece by piece by piece. But I've always done this way. This way I do it by myself. I do my own. I get spots sometimes when I do my own, for sure. <laughs> I can't see it. But I don't care. I can see a lot better when I'm doing his. Can let me have the white real quick? So you don't get the spots like me as much. I can actually see his hair. Mine can't see it. <coughs> so we want to just keep making sure we're getting the hair dye throughout all the hair. I'm going to try and get rid of the gray. Gray is very hard to cover, but this is supposed to be a gray cover hair dye, so we'll see. Dark colors and grays are very hard to cover.
I think this is going to turn out nicely. It looks like it's already starting to take to the color. Turn it a little blonder. I can see it lightening already. Great. It's already starting to take to the blonde. Gonna look good. I just used the rest of the hair dye on his hair because you might as well, and you can always find some spots that you probably missed. So I'm just gonna squeeze it all over and then I'm gonna spread it through. There we go. Now we're gonna spread it through and make sure we get all the spots we maybe missed. And it turned blonder. It's looking good. the wipes to clean up a little bit around the ear and face wherever you got hair dye so it don't dye your skin. The blonde's not too bad but when you do darker colors you'll get brown all over your face. Here's the blonde you won't really see but I've done brown before and you get brown all over your face for a minute. <laughs> okay now how are we doing on time? It is now what time is it? Uh, it's 1400 hours, 33 minutes. Okay, so it's only been about 10 minutes. So let's... Cut the camera for a minute. Let's, yeah, let's see. We're going to have you sit for, for at least another 15, maybe okay, 20 we'll hours. Okay, we'll come out. I'll look at it, yeah. Okay, yeah, that'll work. Great. Pause the thing, guy. Sit here alone for 10 minutes. Okay. Because I want to come back in the chair. Set alarm for 10 minutes. Set timer for 10 minutes. Now your hair will take to color different in different spots. So you do end up with different colors all over your hair. Especially when you do like these ones. Because, you know, it's not the same as the salon. They're not as strong. Um... Like I said, we didn't choose the super strong one because we didn't want to really mess up the hair. When you choose the really strong ones, that's your toss-up. You're going to lose a lot of hair. So you might get the color you want, but now your hair is really thin and maybe not the texture you want anymore. Because when you thin out your hair, it changes the texture. Um, you actually, like, it becomes, like, really fragile and um, hard to uh, work with. Some people say, like, Joe Rich always says, well, my hair's thick, I want it to be not as thick. And I'm like, yeah, but it's different when you fry your hair. It's not, like, the consistency you want it to be. It's just, like, it, it won't manage, it won't do anything, it won't style. It's, a little, it's just a mess if you fry it too much. You are really, she's really good with hair products. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we like to use Giovanni for all of our other hair products. Um, that's what I'm going to have him wash it this out with. Um, I'm not going to use their conditioner because I don't like theirs. It, I prefer the hair products that have, we don't have all of these parabens and all these different things, uh, SLS and stuff, some of these, um, other products had in the past. So I get all of our stuff from Whole Foods. Okay, I'm just still rubbing this through because we want to hope to not miss spots, you know. The more we kind of just disperse it through the hair as it's still taken to the color. We're about to rinse it. So we're just kind of spreading it around before the rinse. I can see, oh yeah, it's starting to really take to the color. Some spots here. Oh, that's my timer on my watch. Can you stop that for me? Thank you. 
I can already see as I'm looking at it where certain spots just take color different. So like that'll happen. I always kind of like that because I think it kind of gives your hair variety. But some people want their hair to be one color. If you want one color and want it to be super perfect, you probably can't do it at home hair dye. This is more for if you're if you kind of like don't have to be perfect, just want to be cool, badass, kind of rebel. Then do it yourself at home. That's the Jai way. But yeah, if you want it to be this perfect, even, all perfect, go spend a couple hundred dollars. <laughs> we don't do that. <laughs> <coughs> Let's see, what time is it? 45. Okay, I think we're going to start moving Jedi Rich towards the shower because he takes a minute sometimes. So, um, because we wanted it 25 minutes, it's been starting to get close to that from the time when we started. Because some of it has been sitting for long, but then I'll... Oh, oh we're going to bring this? Yeah, we'll show them what we do. We'll show them the products we use. Let's go in here. Uh, we bring anything else, just that one? Just that, this one. Alright. So then when we come in here, I'm going to have Jedi Rich do a um, hair reconstructor. The Siki's going to leave in this hair for like at least two minutes. It's really, really good. For especially if you dye your hair. Um, they say it's for, um, for to help reduce, uh, is this nutrients? Nutritive protein helps reduce damage caused by chemical processing and excessive heat styling. So if you dye your hair a lot, if you blow dry your hair a lot, if you style it a lot, this can help repair it. All right. So now I'll put my head in here and get it down for you. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, you're going to need to take a shower. Okay, well, I'm going to call it John. Okay, so we just um, dyed Jedi Rich's hair, and so he's going to come and show how it came out. Now remember, um, we did a no ammonia hair dye, so it's not going to give you the all over same color that you might be used to when, you, um, when people use stronger hair dyes. This one was a not as strong one because we don't want the hair to fall out, so um, it get kind of just changes the color of all of the colors of your hair, but still leaves like all of the different colors, which is kind of nice because you get that highlight effect, which I actually really like. Um, so Jai Rich has got like all these different colors going on, and I, I, I'm actually, I wish mine had turned out like this. I actually am so happy with it. He's got some red highlights, some blonde highlights, so he's going to come show you guys how it turned out. I'm uh, super happy with the results. Okay. Here he is. What do you guys think, guys? Here I am. So what I was saying is he has these red and blonde highlights, which is actually just beautiful. It actually came out really nice color. Now, like I said, we in the past we had done platinum, so then of course it would be all blonde, but then his hair fell out. So we didn't want it to fall out this time, so we chose to do a lighter thing. Now, we might do it again for, you know, on the bottom here, um, the gray didn't take as well, um, but we're gonna wait because if you do it too soon, um, your hair will fall out so we'll let we'll let this one settle and also the second time you will get more the desired uh, color you were wanting you always it takes a second when your hair is dark so the second time we do this whenever that may be it might be you know in a couple weeks from now maybe a couple months from now maybe a year from now but it'll the colors that have this color will take better to the next application as well. That's just, um, a hairstylist actually will recommend that you go in, in steps to get lighter um, hair colors. People want to go to bleach it. Yeah, you can get that overnight, but then your hair falls out. <laughs> so that, That's a drawback. And I'm actually super happy with you the like it. Right you, yeah. guys, you guys like it? I like think it. it's beautiful. It has these beautiful red and blonde <sighs> tones in it, which I used to actually pay money to get my hair I'll like I'll tell you what, colors. I just felt like I spent the best day at the spa, so... <laughs> Yeah. This home styling thing is really cool. Well, I think it looks great. It's very relaxing. All right, I'm gonna walk out and let you. Well, no, we're gonna do a little before and after pictures real quick. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Let me. So, um, oh, okay. 
Thank you guys. Oh wait. Um, thanks for watching. Y'all can sign out. Sign out. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to our channel here. Um, if you're not on YouTube right now and you're watching this, come find us on YouTube. You can just search Jedi Rich. It's Jedi Rich Creative Producer. And you can find us on Twitter at Jedi Rich.com, Jedi Joy Blog, and The Naked Jedi. And then also, always, 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 we're on our website at JediRich.com. Thanks for watching.